Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today I am very thankful that there was a convenience store out here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel, because coffee is... Ooh, or... Ooh. It's the daily woo! There are quite a few no trespassing signs, but directly over this lock gate is something pretty fantastic. Not made from wood like you traditionally normally see. This one's made of rock or concrete perhaps. Can't get any closer, this sign states, due to vandalism and theft, you must have written. Oh look, there was another one there. The sign sits on top of another broken one. You have to think about how much time and effort went into whittling away at that thing. And that's not timber, that's a much, much more heavy substance. Down this little road lies Johnson Canyon. The Old West is straight ahead. At least what was depicted on television. Westerns were very popular in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and into the 70s. And a lot of them were filmed out here on this open terrain. In fact, what appears to be a real-life ghost town is really a production set for some of those old cereals. Not the kind you eat, but the kind you watch. Now, it has been quite a while since actors or a crew have set foot out here, but these facades have been used in quite a few things you may have seen on TV. The most popular reference being Gunsmoke, which ran for an almost unprecedented, by today's standards, 20 years, and they used some of these buildings. Now, the majority of the show was not even filmed out here. As best I could research, there were only a couple times that this was used for Dodge City. But nonetheless, pretty freaking cool. If this unstructurally sound stage and walls could talk, it would tell us that people were dancing and playing poker right over in that corner. Marshall Dillon could have sat in that very chair. It's a big hypothetical, but maybe. Now keep in mind, this was used in dozens of other productions. And what stands out to me when I think of cowboys, I think of the saloon and the doors that you would walk through right into there. The ambiance of this place really suits it well because walking around here is Slightly dangerous. Just look at the, the floor, the gla broken glass, the holes leading. Well, it's not, it's only like a foot down, but still, you could twist an ankle. You can see the theming of the old windows up there. And look closely, there's a wooden ledge that goes around the perimeter of the roof. I'm guessing for the cameraman to sit on. This ladder, climbing it, would be quite unwise. The more I think about it, somewhat of my weight trouncing around on this decomposing floor, meandering over there, probably not a good idea either. I attempted to use my Columbo-like research skills to find some screenshots and match up the buildings, but nothing really completely is accurate. The front door of the hotel, even these little slats of wood and the awning in front of the bar, completely different than photos I found online, which makes me think the couple times it was used for gun smoke. It was probably for pickup shots or maybe some later episodes. Now keep in mind, these were not real homes, which means this fireplace was specifically built to film a scene. There were actors delivering their lines right there. Now it's just a congregation of ticks, red ants, and snakes. Oh yeah, and cow patties. Can't forget about the cow patties. A lot of the facades have decomposed due to the elements over time this I thought was a fallen house, but upon closer inspection, I think it was a mine shaft set. Judging by how low it goes into the ground and these rocks, that's the best thing I could assume. I do see why they use this location with the backdrop of the mountains. This was the church building or maybe a school. A lot of flies out here buzzing around the roof has seen better days. Oh, check it out. People have inscribed their names. Some of them dating back to 1977, 86, 82. Upon further thought process, I don't know what this was specifically used for. 
the outside totally does not match the interiors when it comes to theming. Indoors, you could have documented a family hanging out around the fireplace or cooking a meal on this stove, but outside, a totally different vibe altogether. When I first heard of this place and the fact that it still moderately kind of existed, I knew I needed to come out here simply because a couple more storms and these will all be on the ground. In reality, I'm kind of amazed that some of them lasted as long as they did. Relics of the past left to rot. Memories of a bygone era, the golden age of television. I was reading an article about a man who used to own the property many, many, many years ago who was restoring those buildings. Obviously, that did not come to fruition, but he was promoting the property as the town from Gunsmoke, when in reality, that's only moderately true. If you take into consideration that Gunsmoke ran for two decades and most of the people that were stars on it were celebrities as the show got more and more popular, they lived in California most of the episodes filmed out near Los Angeles. Some, a few, that were filmed here in Utah were over where I just was and some of the others are about five or ten miles up the road. Pretty interesting. I really would like to know which season and which episodes were filmed at that abandoned set. I mean, someone's got to know. Look at that mural. Is that Don? It is. Don Knotts and Tim Conway are on there. Which is no coincidence because the Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again was filmed in this neck of the woods. Not where I just was, but what I mentioned that's up the road, as well as the outlaw Josie Wales. Clint Eastwood. Who knew all this took place all the way out here? Check it out. I think I found the first photo that matches up where I just was. The windows, the awning, the porch, everything is the same. That's it. Holy cow. That's awesome. That's where I'm located right now, where the star is. It shows the general terrain of this whole area. Inside the Tourist Info Center, they gave me a list of productions that have been going on here since 1924. I recognize a few of these names as being filmed in Los Angeles. For example, The Lone Ranger Rock is in LA, but a lot of the episodes were out in this area. The Dude Ranger? Dude! Ranger. Maybe this place could shed a little light on the subject. Little Hollywood Museum and Trading Post. This was used in a music video by Kenny Loggins in 1991 from the Grand Canyon. It was the backdrop when he was playing the song. The fascinating thing is what I'm standing in currently is the real set. He rode right by here on his horse. Of course, they moved it from its original location, but nonetheless, it's the actual one. This cabin was used in a 1973 Disney comedy starring Jodie Foster and James Garner called One Little Indian. And there it is. This was the barn also used in Josie Wells. Since the movie was made, the property was sold and they got permission to move everything to where it now resides. They have even created a little makeshift cemetery. Now there are no graves below my feet, but there is a wooden cutout of John Wayne. There's a new sheriff in town, and I'm looking for the man that decapitated my friends over to the side of me. They have no heads. Just to show you a little behind the scenes movie magic, that's styrofoam. And to get a closer look, Here's one piece that's completely unpainted. So if there was a fight scene, let's say this was a chunk of wood, you could hit someone over and over and over. That kind of hurts a little bit, but not as much as it would. See what I did there? Wood. Not as much as it would. Nacho Libre? If you have ever been in the market for John Wayne toilet paper, this is the place to buy it. Some very interesting stuff in there. Not a lot of info on what I was looking for, but this designates that they filmed in the 60s. That means the 50s era and 70s era of Gunsmoke was not filmed 
out here. I'm on my way now to the location of where the bigger of the two movie ranches that used to reside in this area was. The other place, which still had some structures, was the smaller of the two. This spot supposedly has nothing left. It sits down at the bottom of Angel Canyon and look closely up there on the hillside in that cave. There are chunks of wood, maybe a former set or a cabin that once was up there. The property has been bought by an animal shelter, but just looking at those hills, you can definitely see why they chose this spot to film so many different shows and movies. Breathtaking scenery, to say the least. What a view. We're now venturing onto a very bumpy dirt road in search of a few other items. I can't get over this scenery. It's incredible. Not the best driving conditions for Large Marge, but it's worth it. It's definitely, based on the view, definitely worth it. Wow, take a look at that. Remember the Jodie Foster Disney movie I was mentioning earlier? And they moved one of the pieces to that little museum? That's the barn, that's the actual barn still in the same spot. And they're using it current day as a horse corral. This cave area was used in the 1950s movie about the Lone Ranger as Tonto's hideout. And if you look closely, they painted inscriptions on the side of the wall that are not real, basically just props for the production. And they are still here half a century later. These are not relics, real relics. These were put here by the crew to make it look more authentic for filming. Who knew this was out here? I sure didn't until today. You learn something new all the time. And what do you know? It's listed on the sheet. 1956. That's awesome. It's got me thinking, I really like to know what exact episodes, season and episode numbers of Gunsmoke were filmed out of Johnson Ranch here in Utah. I'm sure you're curious as well. And if you use your Columbo-like research skills and figure that out, leave some comments down below because not only I, but also others, and I'm sure you, are interested in knowing what was filmed in California, what was filmed in Utah, and specifically what was filmed in those abandoned buildings. See you guys tomorrow. The vlog is...